Hey folks, today is a video on how to use Adobe Audition mixed with OBS and live edit your microphone with a rack of effects to make your microphone sound better than it does. Um, this is the microphone I am using right now, Samsung Q2U. And if I take off all of the effects, you can hear what I sound like right now. And then if I take off all of the effects of the microphone, this is what I sound like currently. So there should be quite a big difference there. Um, and we'll put those back on bit by bit and we can figure this out, can't we? So, uh, I do stream on kick, kick.com forward slash GGZ. I'm trying to reach 75 followers. So if this helps, give us a follow. Uh, I've kind of given up a little bit on the content creation game inside of things as I've got older. Um, and I've kind of ran out of ideas to make content so i figured i would just help out the people that have a little bit more desire than me and this is a way to improve your stream for free um so if this helps cheers uh for commenting liking and all that hopefully it helps you grow your stream because i'm kind of giving up with it all all right so first things first go into adobe audition and make a new session um if you go into window you can change your layout um to one that you prefer this is just the layout that i've got um now if you go into preferences and you go into general um you will see in audio hardware put the basically the default input to be your microphone and the output is where you want your audio to go so i have it on cable b which if you take a look here, that is, that's a virtual audio cable, which comes free with virtual audio cables. Um, I've purchased a second one because I need two, but you can just set it to be the free one. I'll put a link for the free version. Um, I have my latency set to 80. This is like the delay coming out of Audition into OBS. So just try, obviously get it as low as possible without issues appearing. Um, and I have it set to MME. Uh, if you're having issues that this could be the case. Um, okay. So pretty much you're then going to go to your track one and you're going to set it to be a microphone and the sort of output is what you're listening to, which is going to be set to a virtual audio cable. Now, if you can't hear the virtual audio cable, it's because you need to tick record and you need to tick the input here so you can hear it. Okay, so once this is set up, you'll probably be double hearing yourself. Again, here's another program with, with um, voice meter banana. If you ever want to listen to your own voice, if you've got a voice meter banana set up, which most streamers will do to dodge copyright, you can basically set it to be you're the same output as this here so if i was to do this and set it to be mme um cable b output i would hear my own voice coming through audition in a delay and that way you can help check levels and all of that stuff but obviously i don't want to hear it um but the computer needs to hear it so to speak to send it to obs and that's why we're ticking these two buttons so when you go into OBS, um, you, you're going to basically set one of these to be um, the microphone is going to become, it's not going to be the microphone because you're no longer using that. You're using the audio cable because remember this program takes your mic and sends it to an audio cable. So then on OBS, you're going to want your microphone not to be your microphone, but to be an audio cable or if you want to do what i did you can add audio input capture and that can then be set to if you go to properties to be an audio input as well that way the reason the, the benefit of that is you can have different scenes muted so you could have your gameplay scene with your audio input capture on and then a different scene with it muted. Whereas if you globally mute your microphone, it's going to be muted in all the sources. Um, so that might help some people out. And then, yes, in OBS, you can go to the microphone 
and you can add filters and you can add compressors, limiters, noise, uh, suppression, etc. Um, but that isn't quite as good as using this program because what this program allows you to do is on the fly adjust things, um, fully control it. Obviously, there's a lot more features in a fully fledged audio program. And if you want to know the things I'm using and the things you can do, so if for some stupid reason you wanted to add a massive echo or add like auto tuning or change the pitch, you know, to do some memes, you can have it. So you could have one sort of setup where you have high pitch, low pitch, meme it up with your stream, whatever you want to do. I've set up a few things. So I have a 20 band equalizer um, and I've set it as a preset. Um, and these are what I have. I have, if you look at the last five, 1.5, 1.5, 3, 4, and 6. Um, and again, you can click save and save it as a preset. Um, and what you're doing is you're adding these into an, an effects rack, which means each time you load up this session, the effects are already on there. So I have a equalizer. Um, you can copy the settings there if you want. And this is just, you can, well, you can see what it's doing exactly. It's cutting out certain things. It's blocking certain things. You can obviously, again, play with these till your heart's content, find something that works for your mic. Uh, then I have a compressor, which is basically so I can shout and it doesn't go wild. Um, and then I have a de which is getting rid of a load of background noise. Um, this is just a generic male voice one. Again, you can fiddle with that. I have denoise, and this is getting rid of noise reduction um, because I'm right next to my PC and there's a lot of background noise. And what I've found is for some reason using OBS's built-in noise reduction is okay, but sometimes it's a bit harsh. And also using the NVIDIA broadcast, sometimes that crashes and then my mic kind of screws up for the stream. So I've got rid of that. And then a hard limiter, which means basically I can't make my microphone go too crazy. So no matter how loud I shout, it's going to block it. So you can pause and s steal these. And then you can also change how like wet and dry the output sound is. And you can fiddle with that depending on how you like then you can save it and then basically what i do every time i want to stream i can open up audition i open a recent one which is just called obs and youtube and the decent thing with this is because it's making an audio cable technically on microphone um it means you can use it for different programs so if i was to set my microphone on discord to be cable b input it would mean that all these effects are getting put into Discord, right? Or into Teams or whatever. So sometimes, yeah, you have a really good microphone set up on OBS, but that's it. And your microphone sounds rubbish everywhere else. This enables you to have the filters permanently on. There is some delay. Um, if you do encounter delays, it really depends on how many things you add. The more and more and more things you're going to add on, the more of a delay you've got. Um, ways to solve this, if you take a look, is on your... Well, there's two ways to solve this. So if you go on your gameplay capture and you go to filters, you can right-click add render delay. And I have one small render delay of 80 milliseconds, which matches the 80 millisecond delay of audition. And because I've got a good PC, that's all I need. When I had a ton of effects, I had to have multiple render delays on top of each other. And basically what that means is the screen is not going to be rendered un until the delay's gone. So like after 100 milliseconds, the screen will render and then it will keep rendering it it's not like you're gonna have a black screen but there will be a delay and that means that your microphone can match now if your webcam is not in order you can do the same thing and you can add uh, a render delay on your webcam so that way your voice and your microphone matches up 
Um, but I've found that removing some of these effects and keeping it to just exactly what I need helps. So again, if you're in, if you're not really sure what you're doing, you're adding these in a specific order because that's the order affects things. And you're clicking your effects rack and you're toggling this right hand button. And then you would put echo and then you could say right i want a spooky echo and then for the remainder of yourself talking you have an echo and then you can switch it off stuff like this so if you want to have some fun with your stream you can turn it on and off etc um and again you just save that and then each time you want to use your microphone just remember to open audition um, and that's how you can get a somewhat decent sounding mic F far better um than sounding like some well what this is it's like a 40 50 quid mic um and then obviously it can be chucked into discord audacity whatever um and it just saves on a load of voice editing because obviously your voice is then already edited if you go to make a video your thing sounds good so that's kind of how to do audition mixed with um obs and yeah, you can just, once you've got that and it's open, you can just like make it really small and then put it on your second screen and minimize it. And then it'll just be running like normal. Uh, you've just got to remember to have the program open. So hopefully that helps.